Well, NASA's Orion capsule is now headed into a distant orbit around the moon after flying closely over the lunar surface this morning. This comes after it launched into space last week atop of the Artemis One rocket. Yeah, that was pretty spectacular mm -hmm. to watch that take off. Reporter Christian Benavidez shows us the amazing video 232,000 miles away from Earth. Orion's onboard cameras captured this view of the approaching moon and a very small Earth floating in the distance. The blue orb then disappeared as NASA's capsule and crew of test mannequins began a 34 minute journey around the backside of the moon. And we do have loss of signal. No communication could happen here, hence the animation. But during this time, NASA says Orion buzzed 80 miles above the moon's surface. Orion then fired up its orbital maneuvering system engine, leveraging the moon's gravitational pull to catapult into a new distant orbit. Earthrise of our pale blue dot. About an hour later, Orion soared above Tranquility Base, where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on July 20th, 1969. This is uh, one of those days that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for a long, long time. Next Monday, Orion will travel about 270,000 miles from Earth, the furthest in NASA's history for a spacecraft intended for astronauts. NASA looks at the Artemis program as really a two-phase sort of thing. One, test technology and procedures in order to eventually go to Mars, and two, look for resources you can mine on the moon to make exploration easier and lower cost. Orion's three-week journey will end December 11th with a splashdown near San Diego in the Pacific Ocean. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. Orion blasted off last week atop the most powerful moon rocket NASA has ever built. If this Artemis mission is successful, Astronauts are slated to head to the moon as early as 2024. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. NASA says the rocket that sent the Orion capsule into space caused more damage to the launch pad than expected. Yeah, the liftoff thrust was so powerful that it tore off the blast <laughs> doors of the elevator. Boom. Not good. There you go. I want those back. Yeah.